Who could have possibly been able to tell that Fred Durst was in cahoots with the Keebler Elves? Listen, I need to know now. When is Ryan time? Tell me! Tell me everything you know! You gotta tell me everything now! Please put the cat video down and no one gets hurt. some time to calm down maybe I can finish up this movie <sighs> something tells me I'm not gonna be calm for very long am I now what? with the brat asleep the pair try to think of a way out come on guys you figured out step one you should have had step two before he got to this point we sing at least until we can figure a way out of here close your eyes come along <laughs> must not Kill. You know where we go to find your mom? Follow me. Huh? They're leaving. Take us away to you. Oh, we can't just stick around there right here anymore. Refresh my memory again. Who the fuck are you? Oh, that's right. You're just a pointless talking object to pad the time out. It has been a week since I've been able to review this. <laughs> You know, every time Claire starts singing that song out of place when it's not a filler video, I'm sort of taken out of the movie. Not that I really was immersed to begin with, but it would be kind of nice if you didn't do that. I mean, seriously, think of the puppies I might punch if you keep singing this. Guards, take her back to the tower. We'll wait a few more days and see if she's ready to talk then. Wait, I thought you guys were asleep. Secondly, wouldn't you check on the baby if you left your post? For all they know, the baby is drowning in her own shit, but here you are. So the children go to the kitchen to enter the tower when... Oh, people. Oh. Wake up, wake up, pot. Who are you calling pot, pan? Who are you calling pan, pot? Oh, oh, wake up. I know. I know. I've asked this of the movie before. And I'm just, I'm at this point, I'm just saying the words just so that I hear them in my own mind for my own sanity. But what purpose do these inanimate objects serve to the story? I'll tell you what they serve. They serve nothing. They lose. Good day, sir. God. Most unseemly. Be careful, yeah. Be careful. Bye bye. Can't turn back now. Uh -oh. Oh. Wow, you almost crashed on that invisible floor. That might have been awful. We it's lunch. That's not lunch. That's a snack. All right, well I'm gonna eat it, whatever it is. Are the alligators talking? Why are they talking? In this universe, are alligators the only animals that can talk? Oh wait, no. Random objects can talk too. How silly of me. Come here, lunch. <laughs> Holy shit. Leo Pantyhose just killed somebody. I mean, one of the theories I've been having throughout this entire review is possibly the inanimate objects are his servants just trapped in that stupid thing that, you know, Disney created. But they didn't want to outright say. And if that's true, Leo just killed one of his servants. Holy shit! The worst turtle leader ever just killed somebody. And I applaud that. Good on you, man. So after he murders a servant, the pair try to break into the tower dungeon when Claire picks the lock. Wait a minute. When did we establish this? When did she get that hairpiece for breaking and entering? I demand answers, but I think I'm just wasting my breath at this point. Well, 
Well then, it's back in the tower for you, isn't it? Uh, there's no place to hide. Oh great, now all of them are locked up for good. The end. Close your eyes, come along. Dream a dream, sing the song. I am safe, mother. The sound of his voice seems so real, so close. It is real, mother. Wait, how did this happen? Is Leonardo a wizard? You were cornered! How did you get out of that? You children shouldn't have come. It's not safe. <gasps> Sarah's locket. Huh? Where did you get this child? In an old trunk in my mother's house. Limpo Nerf Herder's mother discovers Claire has a locket and sapphire, which are apparently the keys to keep Carlotta from ruling mankind. Apparently. Gee, how convenient that she has all this. What are you waiting for? Find her! And bring me the heads of those wretched minstrels who stole my little girl! Uh, nothing! This way! Come on, man! Okay. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wait, here. You're telling me you're now captured. When, just a minute ago, when you're reuniting, the door was wide open. And now, all of a sudden, you're all captured. So what happened between... Then and now that you're all just holed up in the tower and there's nothing you can do about it. Did Caitlyn just accidentally shut the door and you're all just locked up? I mean, good grief. If Leo Dumasso is the future king of this castle, then this country needs to be conquered. Seriously, just fuck him. <sighs> Think this will work? It's better. Hurry, my dear, the gods are coming. I would like to think horses are smart, thanks to the likes of Twilight Sparkle, but I highly doubt a horse would hold on to a rope for your escape. Well, my suspension of disbelief has been destroyed. Thanks, horse. I'll never get it back again for this movie. Suspension of disbelief restored! Find that! Every guard in the kingdom is doing his best, man. Well, it's not good enough, is it? No, no, ma'am. Wow, those are some of the best quick change artists I've ever met. They change costumes in the blink of an eye. That or their shapeshifters. You decide. I think the more important matter is what happened to your wall? You don't even need to use a door for that room anymore. She's a scout! Escape! 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 You take the sapphire and make sure she never gets it. She won't, I promise. Why are you re-entering the castle? That is the worst thing you could do. You and Leaping Nardballs should be leaving the fucking kingdom! Which do you want? I'll take the sapphire. You take the baby. Let's go! Leopard Nerf Humper, your mother put Claire in charge of that fucking rock. Good lord, you make the Rat King look competent. Hmm, avocado and peanut butter. <laughs> Crunchy or smooth? Yeah. Hey, looks like lunch. Hmm. Oh, oh. Dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Fun>. <laughs> so May I remind you this is Dove approved, even with fisticuffs. That's why it got four out of five doves, because Lump Nippolo. Punch three guards. You know, family entertainment. Do it. Do it. What the fuck? <laughs> nope. Instead, the baddies.
bodies are turned to stone and the objects return to ordinary people. Fair trade, I guess. Alright, so I have three major contentions with this resolution. Number one. Who the hell were the candles? I mean, everyone gets turned back to human beings, but I never get to find out who the candles were. And that really breaks my heart. It actually hurts my head more than my heart, but that's neither here nor there. Number two. The servants who were the alligators. The queen would routinely throw people to the alligators as punishment, to which I am supposing that they were eaten. If this is true, does this make the servants technically cannibals? Also, and this is my third, what does that mean now for the jar that Leo Nerpdo threw into the alligators for distraction? If that jar was a servant, he essentially just killed one of his servants, as I suspected. And the alligator clearly enjoyed eating him. So, is that considered cannibalism as well? And, shouldn't Leo Nerpdo get some sort of punishment for murdering a servant? At least an hour or two in the stocks. Give me some justice here. So with all the loose ends tied up, the movie decides to recycle some animation for the next few minutes with some new music. Way to polish that turd, guys. No matter how many times you scrub, still a turd. If you make a wish, go a magic kiss, feel the rainbow in your heart. Wish upon a dream. Oh damn, the mescaline's kicked in and I'm starting to trip balls. Fuck you, and I'm giving you two reasons why. Number one, the static shot where they're sucking face. Can't they just be friends? They're ten years old at best. There's no reason for this. And then secondly, preteen intimacy should have at least killed three doves on the rating system. And then to top it off, you've got this shitty song called Wish Upon a Dream that they just fell in love with. I have no idea why Golden Films puts up shit like this. Wish Upon a Dream... Why don't you just wish upon a dank meme? Because at least that's based on some sort of reality that we can all understand. God, I don't know why they do this. Why am I even questioning this shit? I hate everything and I hate you. Fuck off. So Claire wakes up, apologizes to Hillary Clinton for sleeping, and she accepts. And oh look, a new boy just moved in next door. And he looks like Limple Nude Sting. Well, how about that? Close your eyes, come along. No! If this is a dream, I hope I dream forever. So there you have Princess Castle. Just another one in a long line of golden films that make absolutely no sense, has no relevance, and just leaves you with more questions than answers. Would I recommend anybody watching this? If you have nothing else in your life, but you somehow discover this and you have a TV and DVD player, then sure, knock yourself out. Otherwise, primarily use this as a torture device to children, because if you do that, I guarantee you, they'd start reading books, rather than watching shit like this. Well, you have to excuse me now. I got a horse to fix. Close your eyes, come along. Dream a dream, sing the song. Man, I really wish I'd put some forethought into this when I wrote it in the script. Yes, yeah, Sam. Rip a pony's head off and eat the stuffing. That'll get all 30 people who watch your damn videos to laugh. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, sometimes I think I write these bits and they just go a little too far. Rip off a plushie's head, Sam. Yeah, that's a smart thing to write in the script and in theory when you have to fix the damn thing. Get you, Jesus Christ.